The next step in the process is the concentration or enrichment of the uranium-235 isotope. Natural uranium consists primarily of a mixture of two isotopes of uranium, and only 0.71% of natural uranium is uranium-235, which is fissile or capable of undergoing fission the process by which energy is produced in a nuclear power reactor. The remainder of the uranium is uranium-238. In the most common types of nuclear reactor, a higher than natural concentration of uranium-235 is required. The enrichment process produces this higher concentration typically between 3.5% and 5% uranium-235. This enrichment process is by far and away the most technically challenging part of the front end of the fuel cycle. We're not talking about chemical concentration here. The two uraniums, U-235 and U-238, have identical chemical properties. We're talking about the differences in atomic mass, and it's less than 1%. There are two enrichment processes in large-scale commercial use, each of which uses uranium hexafluoride as the feed. One process is gaseous diffusion, and the newer, more efficient process are gas centrifuges. They both use the physical properties of the molecules, specifically this 1% mass difference to separate the isotope. The product of this stage of the nuclear fuel cycle is enriched uranium hexafluoride, which is reconverted to produce the enriched uranium oxide. Let's look at how these two processes work. <laughs> 